Hey guys, so this is Spencer. Um, we are just going to give a quick demo on our um, reference agent. It's going to be a simplified version of the Getting Started Guide. Uh, feel free to ask any questions as we go along. Um, basically, I'm an, I have five tabs here. I'm going to ignore the Bob and Thrift for this particular demo, but they're just other agents here. Um, I'm going to log in as Alice. Um, I'm going to log in here as Faber. And as Acme. So if you notice these, are, this is not the same server. These are three different instances of the agent on three different ports. Um, and we're gonna make them talk to each other. So first, let's say Alice wants to connect to Faber. So she'll send a new connection request. And she's gonna do that using what's called the endpoint DID. So using that endpoint DID, she can send a connection request. It's gonna look up Faber's endpoint, send that connection request, and then basically automatically create a connection. Um, and we'll see that. So now you see I have this connection here. Uh, I don't know much about it. I have rela these relationship DIDs here and their uh, endpoint DID. Um, but if you notice, Alice now has a proof request on her name and so does Faber. Faber now has a new proof request saying, hey, this person wants to know what your name is. If I accept both of those, you'll now see the relationship. It says, oh, this is Faber University. Here's the relationship DIDs, their public DID, and now I have a proof associated with this relationship that identifies it as Faber University. Here on their side, I have the same thing. I know now this is Alice, and now I have a proof to, to show that. Um, now what I wanna do is I want, um, Faber's now going to send Alice a transcript. So first, what Faber's gonna do is they're gonna write a new schema to the ledger. Um, basically, it's just they give it a name, a version, and a list of attributes. Um, and this will write that schema to the ledger as Faber. Now I have to create a credential definition based on that schema, um, but this is now very specific to Faber. Only Faber can use this credential definition based off of this transcript, and I'll give it a tag here. And this one takes just a bit. Just to comment, um, the reason that this takes a while is because it's generating some crypto keys that are it's it, there's it's computationally intensive to generate those keys i think i think that's true because this one takes longer than the others we talked about uh with uh, with stephen kern a little bit about um some caching and things we can do to speed it up but i think this one is just a little beefy uh, the nature of it's a little beefy but now i can pick a relationship up um here and pick a credential definition and then go ahead and send that credential offer to alice um over here, Allison has a new message from Faber University. It's a credential offer. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And now Alice has a new credential for a transcript. Um, it has these attributes. So now let's say uh, Alice wants to apply for a job. So Alice wants to create a, a relationship with Acme, uh, who is wanting to employ her. So if I send a new connection request using Acme's endpoint DID, Again, I'll accept both of those proof requests. Uh, that's just the first, basically autonomous proof request on identity, so we know who we are, who each other is. Now I have a relationship with Acme. So um, Acme is now going to send a proof request. Uh, in here we, have, we can pick a relationship, we can pick a different proof request. This is the identity proof request, I can send another one if I want to. I can also paste one in. Um, so because Faber created the credential definition, they now in their proof requests, have access to this transcript data proof request. All it is is it's asking for the degree, status, and year, and they have access to this. We're still kind of waiting for the NDSDK to support discovery on the ledger. Um, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this, um, this proof request into Acme's organization. So here you can see they're gonna do a proof request on degree, status, and year using the credential, and they're gonna say this attribute has to come from the credential definition that Faber created. And there's lots of different ways that you can get the credential definition uh, to be able to build the proof request. You know, could send a message or some other way, but looking it up in the, in the ledger is, is the primary way. But uh, there's some way that they're going to get that credential definition to be able to create this proof request. So Here we'd really like to eventually have what, what we, we keep calling a proof request builder, where you can really just um, pick attributes and then it you can either say they can just give me this attribute, it's a self-attested attribute, or you can tie that particular attribute to a list of, of credential definitions. So you can say, well, I'll accept a degree attribute from any of these universities or something like that. 
Um, right now we're just pasting in a JSON object, but eventually we would like to build a little proof request builder where you can dynamically create and save different proof requests. But if I go ahead and send that to Alice, Alice now gets a new message. It's a proof request asking for her degree, status, and year from her transcript, uh, again from Acme Corporation. If I go ahead and accept that, now Acme, under relationships with Alice, has a new proof uh, for transcript data. And I can go ahead and validate that proof right now, and it is indeed valid. So I can guarantee now that she has a degree in bachelor, a bachelor of science marketing degree. She's graduated in 2015. And that's our demo.